Hello Ross developers and welcome to a new video about how to develop with Ross. If you want to learn anything about Ross, this is your channel. Ross navigation, Ross with drones, Ross for autonomous cars. Everything Ross is here. Learn Ross step by step and push your Ross learning with just a 10 minutes video. Hi, I'm Ricardo and today we are going to see how to convert a point cloud data into a laser data. So these laser data can be uh, later be used as a cheap laser sensor, for example, for navigation using the ROS navigation stack. We are going to use this package, point cloud to laser scan. But uh, before anything else, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. And you will find the link to the academy on the video description. Okay, so now let's go to the subject. And for this, we are going to use the ROS Development Studio. In order to get into the ROS Development Studio, type this address rds.theconstructscene.com and uh, then let's sign in in my case because i already have um yeah here okay uh yeah already opened a project but let me go to my zone of the project so i would like to uh, create a new project for this so in this case i'm going to um, push this button create a project let's call uh, point uh, cloud to laser for example and let's create it okay here it is and now let's open it and here so here we have uh, what we are going to do is to use this package here that I mentioned it's one that converts directly from point cloud to laser scan and in uh, it has several parameters so we are going to create a launch file that that contains those parameters and we are going to set them okay so let's go first thing that we need is to have a robot that has a, a, a point cloud device on it for that i'm going to use the turtlebot 2 simulation that we have already here just go to simulations and then select the turtlebot robot is here and then we'll have a simulation of the robot there and that is publishing a point cloud then next thing is to create a package that uh, calls this point cloud to laser scan so let's go and open a shell and uh, let's go to the cat king workspace as you know here uh, in rds we have several uh, workspaces so let me show you that we have several workspaces that uh, are used for different uses in this case because we are going to build some code let's go to the catkin workspace source and then here let's create a package catkin create package and uh, let's call it for example pc to laser and that's it and the only thing that we are going to put in there is just uh, a launch file that's all so we can use now the ide for controlling the files of the of our package as you can see it's open here and here let's create a launch directory for example you can do it on the shell also if you want okay so it just doesn't matter launch and then here let's a new file let's call uh, start dot launch and inside here is where we are going to put our call, our initialization of this node, the point cloud to laser scan node, and set all the parameters that it requires. So let's go. Then I have here already prepared uh, a, a launch file. So I'm going to put it here, then increase the size so you can see better, and also indicate that it's an XML file. Great, and I'm going to save, Control S or File, Save. Great, so I have it here. What do we have here? Very, very simple. First, we say, uh, okay, let's launch a node. Which node is from the package point cloud to laser scan? That is this package that you should have installed in your system. In the RDS, it's already installed, so 
you don't have to care and then the node that we have to run from that package that is called like this point cloud to list scan node and then the name that we want to put this is just arbitrary whatever you want to put here is the name of the node in the execution so uh, then uh, parameters that we need the cloud in so the cloud in means the from where are we going to take the the point cloud points and the topic is this one you can uh, go to the shell here let me put it here so it's easier and here if you do a raw topic list you will see that we have here the camera death point that is publishing on that type of uh, topic and uh, then we have the remap to scan where are we going to publish this uh, the laser that we have converted from the camera point from the point cloud so this is the topic where our scan will be uh, put will be published then some parameters then we need the target frame this is the frame from which this information the scan information is going to be published so it says from all the scans are published from this frame you need that then well transform tolerance this is for error measures don't, don't wait too much don't worry too much and then we have the minimum eight and maximum eight is from which eight you are going to get the points up, up, out of those uh, eight the points will not be taken into account then about publishing the laser which is the minimum angle and the maximum angle that we are going to publish from uh, in this case is from minus 90 to 90 degrees and then the angle increment it means from each um, uh, how many uh, degrees we have to have between any scan and any and, and another scan so into between two rays of the scan in this case it's just one degree and then this is the scan time it's okay so it's the range minimum the minimum range it means from which distances uh, are minimum distances we are going to publish data and up to which maximum distances this means that all the point clouds all the points detected by the point cloud that are between this distance and this distance are going to be published on the laser okay use infinite true means that if a point is detected beyond this then it's going to be published as an infinite it means uh, basically it's going to be published as uh, the maximum range plus one what is infinite and finally we have this parameter that it's a concurrency level level i i i would suggest that you use the number one that is just one single thread because otherwise you will get a lot of threads created processing the scan and it will take most of the cpu of your computer okay so that's it let's save it save it and then let's launch it that's easy so if we do a ROS launch then we have to write our package and then our launch that is a start dot launch and there it is okay done yeah so that's it you can go home it's done no no way no way so yeah i know you want to see if it is working or not and how so let yeah let's use harvest for this so for that i need to launch another shell and let's see on harvest how is this working okay and very very quickly so you will see in, in a minute so for this what we are going to do is to publish this laser um, topic so we are going to see on, on our base how this laser topic is is working so just to just to have a quick uh, view let's see if the topic is being published and let's see it has to be camera scan here it is so it's being published so it looks like okay so now let's run our base in order to see if it is working properly and as you know if we run our base we need to open in order to see the screen we need to go to the graphical tools and let's go and see okay here it is i'm going to do double click to center 
the window and close this because I don't want. I had to change the fixed map for base link, for example, or whatever, any other link that is defining this simulation. And then let's add, let's do one thing. Let's compare what the, the scan, the laser scan that we are publishing is doing with the another laser that this robot has. Because as you can see in the simulation, this robot has here a laser that is publishing. And then here we have beneath, we have the point cloud device that is an Asus Xtion camera. Okay, so that's the one that we are using for converting to uh, laser. So now we have here the laser. Let's duplicate this. And then also let's add the robot so we can see better. It's easier for us to represent everything. Okay, there it is, the robot, and let's configure now the lasers. First one, we are going to watch the camera scan. And then on the second one, let's watch the, wait, the, the one provided by the laser on the robot. Great, there it is. So you can see here how both of them are correct. The red one is the laser data that is obtained by this. And the second one, this one there, is the one that we are creating based on the point cloud. Okay, so uh, you can see that this is actually working and it's matching. So it's a good uh, point to see for comparison and check that everything is working. So if, for example, we can also come here to the simulation and put something in the middle and see how this behaves and there it is so we have this here in our base we have this uh, detection of the block and how everything is changing okay so basically that's it you see how it works and how to launch it how easy it was it was just a couple of minutes basically i was talking too much and that's why it took us so many minutes but it actually it's just as simple as this so what I'm going to do is one thing, is just in order for you to get this code, what I'm going to do is to share this project. So I'm going to save it, the point cloud, yes. And then what I'm going to do is to share this project with you. How I'm going to do this? By coming here, and then here is my project, and I'm going to create a shareable link. And this link, I'm going to put this link beneath this video description so in case that you want to use the code of the shell just go there and you will get everything in there and that's it so you you are in order to use this link the only thing that you have to have is an rds free account it's okay so you get an rds free account and then you click on the link and automatically this project will be added to your project area and then you can open and play with my codes that I have shown you there, okay, the one that you have here, okay. So basically that all, um, and the, remember that in the video description you will find a complete course about how to use ROS navigation and do, for example with uh, this laser created from the point cloud also you will find all the resources mentioned in the video like links to this package etc. And, and did you like the video? So if you did, please uh, give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell. So subscribe and press the bell so uh, you will be notified when we publish a, a new video because we publish a new video every day. And either you like it or not, just share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. So see you in the next one. Hasta la vista.